So my history with training is, uh, it's been part of my life for the last kind of 17 and a half years. Um, you know, I started when I was uh, 15 through kind of a bit of a disappointment. I missed out on uh, England on the 16s. I hadn't trained, hadn't worked. I was kind of just doing what everyone else was doing. And through kind of that lack of, of discipline and actually working on what I needed to do, um, I, you know, missed out. And my old man said to me at the time, he said, listen, you can see this as a disappointment or you can see this as an opportunity to improve. And I went with the option to improve. And I got a, a personal trainer who, who came in twice a week at school. We used to train from nine till 10 in the evening. Um, and I went a bit like a Rocky montage from a weedy, thin kind of uh, bloke with a terrible work attitude to someone that really appreciated training, someone who got good results. And, you know, we used to, after rugby sessions, go hill running and running in the rain. And, you know, I kind of went a bit overboard, you know, instead of, you know, I used to run in the school, run the school bar, but I never used to drink. I'd be like real professional. We used to get kind of do all these weird and wacky and wonderful things to get in the best shape possible. But two years later, I got into England under 18s, became captain. And I, uh, I realized that in life, you know, training, hard work filters into every other area of your life. And it's taught me work ethics, taught me discipline. It's given me a reasonable rig, not the best boat race, but a reasonable rig. And um, it's something that I'm really passionate about.